a, an interesting note about the Wright brothers. They didn't know about stability and control, but they were very experienced in flying. They had a lot of flying skills because of a lot of glider flying they had done. With their canard-type airplane in 1903, the center of gravity was too far back. It wasn't stable, and yet they were able to fly it. If they had known more about stability, uh, they would have put the center of gravity further forward, and it would have been stable, but it would have taken more energy, and it couldn't have flown. It's very interesting, because they had some naivety. They were a success. One of the most effective is the random word technique uh, that was developed by Dr. Edward de Bono, a thinking skills guru in England, who points out that if you've butted your head up against a problem, just can't find a solution, you've done brainstorming with all your buddies and still can't find a solution, you pick any word out of any book, just at random, point to any word and pick the, the noun closest to where your finger hit and approach the problem from that word, which has nothing to do with your project, but that's the point. And to your amazement, after about three minutes, you realize, I'm thinking about this project in ways I never would have thought about it before. One that I find especially attra attractive is the Frisbee. It may not change civilization, but it is just the right size, just the right speed, goes just the right distances, so people get involved with it. I have tackled things that weren't of the moment, not a gadget that you're going to try and sell next year. When you work on something where you can ignore commercial reality, you're not going to make it in a mass-produced product, you can go way out like trying to make a human-powered airplane, completely impractical, but when it was once done, you realize, boy, that was valuable. A lot of people are thinking very differently about energy and efficiency and limits and what we can do.